Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome and today we are going to be redoing my benchmarks for my 6950 XT. I had a request that somebody wanted to see benchmarks for 1440p so that's what I'm going to be doing and I'll be doing superposition, MW2 and if I can 3D mark. Uh, we'll run a time spy benchmark and see what we get so why don't we go ahead and get started All right, so our benchmark completed. We got a score of 17,145. This is actually our second run, uh, so it's probably a little bit more saturated with heat. So that's why our score is lower, but we originally got an 18,000. So I'll say between 17 and 18,000, depending on you know how much how saturated your GPU is with heat. Uh, not sure why I didn't register my temps, but yeah. And down here you can see the other specs of my system. And yeah, so why don't we go ahead, move on to the next benchmark. All right, guys, so I couldn't get a good version of 3 Mark downloaded. I don't know. I was having a bunch of issues with that. And to get it on Steam, you have to pay for it. So I don't have the $8 to buy it right now. So instead of doing 3D Mark, we are just going to run the Heaven Benchmark as well. And we are doing it at 1440p Ultra Settings. And we're just going to see what happens. So let's see what our results are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That is the Heaven Benchmark. Uh, not sure what happened there. But 2560 by 1431 for some reason. Uh, pretty much the same thing. I don't know why I defaulted to a weird resolution like that, but 
Uh, yeah, so these are the results, and let's get on to the Call of Duty benchmark. Alright, so our last benchmark is going to be Modern Warfare 2 at 1440p. It's going to look a little weird on screen. Uh, there's going to be black bars on the side. Don't pay any attention to that. That's just because I had to downscale it. <coughs> uh, and I'm on an ultra wide, so yeah. Anyways, let's get into the benchmark. This is... Again, 1440p at extreme settings, so max settings, and let's give her a go. Alright, so there you go. That's the benchmark for Call of Duty. So our 1% bottleneck uh, averaged us about 208 FPS. Uh, if we look over on the right side here, we can see all the specs, uh, driver, GPU temp, things like that. Uh, our total VRAM used was only 5.3 gigs and we were at 67C, so not too bad. Um, our total RAM usage, 12.43 out of 32 gigs. And... Our average FPS is 130. And that's with this not being overclocked. Um, there's no overclock supplied. There's no DLSS applied. Nothing like that. We have, as you can see right here, we have the upscaling off. And so that's what we get. But this card does perform better at my uh, ultra wide resolution. I will tell you guys that. This card isn't really meant for 1440p. It'll run it great, but it's not really meant for it. It's more meant for 4K and ultra wide resolutions. It definitely runs better at. But yeah, so there you have it. And then keep in mind, this is at max settings too. So if you guys invest in this card for 1440p, you can always turn on DLSS. That'll jump you way up in FPS. And you can always scale down some of the settings like the shadows and uh, lighting effects, things like that, that really like take a toll on your GPU's performance and you'll get all the fps in the world so do keep that in mind but yeah so this was our benchmark series thingy our series of benchmarks and uh hope this guy uh hope this was more informative than the first run for you guys and it's more accurate as well because like i said i had some issues on the first run um temps were really high because of some issues and Oh no, there, there was a lot of factors that kind of messed up the benchmarking. So this is a much more accurate representation of what you can expect. Uh, at least for Call of Duty anyway. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a like. And if you want to see more tech videos, you can subscribe to my channel. I got other videos on my channel also. And yeah, so this is Anubis Tech and Games. And I'll catch you on the next one.